video is how to handle criticism. So I must give the credit. I found these good points on a website called interviewquestions.guru. So steps to handle criticism at work or any other place. The first thing is listen to what the other person has to say. Don't interrupt and try to listen objectively. Now, for me personally, this is something that I think I still need to work on, that I've had to work on because that's one of my favorite things to say in it, work on, because that's what it's about right here. Personal development. Because when it comes to my husband, when he's given me certain criticism, I've been like, you know what I mean? Like when he says stuff to me, I'm, I'm coming with a quickness. Well, what about you? You do this. And it's like, you have to decipher, is the person trying to be rude or are they trying to be helpful? And even if they are being rude, we can still control how we react. But let's speak to like constructive criticism. It's for our benefit. So just try your best to listen. The second thing is don't take the criticism personally. Yeah, like what I just mentioned there. <laughs> Remember that the other person is just giving their opinion and they are not trying to hurt your feelings so that's something important as well. If someone's giving you loving, constructive criticism and you react and you're triggered, why are you triggered? Do you see what I'm saying? So so when I'm coming to my husband and I'm like, but you, but you do this, I have to ask myself, why is that the response instead of just taking it how I need to take it in and work on it, you know? Thank the other person for their feedback. Even if you don't agree with it, Thank them for taking the time to share their thoughts with you. So that's something that shows grace. You're letting the person know, I hear you. I appreciate what you're saying to me. Because guess what? Would you prefer that they give you constructive criticism to your face or talk about you in a negative way when you're not there? Do you see what I'm saying? So if that person is like, they've taken time out to say, hey, I've noticed this or this is how you could do something better, then we need to take that on board and say, all right, this person's coming with love. They're not coming to me any type of way. So how can I take this on board? Use the criticism to improve yourself. If you can learn from the criticism and make changes, you will be stronger and better in the future. And this is the reality of life in relationships, at work, at church, Whatever situation you find yourself in, at some point, someone is going to give you criticism and we have to have the humility to say, mm, OK, let me listen to them, not interrupt, not attack them, but actually take what they're saying. And for me, I think there have been times in life where I feel like, OK, no, this person said this to me, but they were being rude. So I'm going to react and and sometimes people try and say, oh, well, I'm, I'm just telling the truth. But even in your telling of the truth, you can still have grace. You don't have to attack the person and be mean or anything like that. You can just give a gentle correction and the person will understand exactly what you're saying. Yeah. So just remember that when you're giving the criticism that you don't have to be brash, you know, or anything like that. You can gently tell them what you need to tell them. And this is constructive criticism. Constructive criticism is, do you know what, Sharla? I like how you put, you know, that, you know, that, um, I don't even know what to call this, dashiki. <laughs> I like how you put that dashiki over that, but maybe next time try this. That's constructive criticism, not, what kind of thing are you wearing? What, are you, are you, some African print thing, what are you wearing? That's not constructive criticism. So some people really think that they're doing constructive criticism, but really and truly it's being rude. Constructive criticism is when you're saying, hey, I don't think this is working, but maybe try this. With constructive criticism, you're giving an option, you're giving an alternative. When you're tearing someone down, you're just tearing them down because you're rude or maybe that makes you feel better about yourself. Yeah. So it's something that we all have to be aware of. If I'm going to give a critique to someone, am I coming in the right spirit? Lord, is am I even in the right place to give this constructive criticism? Or am I just saying it because I just want to say something to them? And if I'm on the receiving end, I also have to be like, OK, mm, maybe there is some truth to this, because sometimes when we're triggered, it's because we realize, oh, this is true here, what you're telling me. And I'm triggered right now because you've told me the truth. And the truth is triggering but that's okay it's what we do with the truth afterwards all right so let me know in the comments how do you handle criticism 
and what exactly is your experience with constructive criticism or how do you handle it if you find that someone's being rude to you and things like that all right then ladies so thank you for watching and while you are visiting please remember to like and subscribe and thank you so much to everyone who's been liking and watching so far god bless you and god go with you on your development journey Alrighty then bye